Her car caught fire suddenly while they were driving down the street inside a teenager and a two-month-old baby girl. Fortunately, they made it out alive and unhurt. But the family wants to know why their car, a 2013 Kia Sorento, caught fire and was not part of a recall for engine problems. News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky shares their warning to others. Obviously, you can see where it started just by looking at where the damage is. It's hard for Angie Fry to see what's left of her 2013 Kia Sorento and to know that her 18-year-old grandson and two-month-old granddaughter were inside when it caught fire. Wow, that quick, you know? You can't even see where the car seat base was. You can't see anything with the car seat. Now she tries to salvage what she can before the car is hauled away from this Port Orange tow yard, hoping to find her grandson's wallet and his phone. There's like close to $400 in there. These pictures show just how intense that fire was. And they don't want to notify people? Seriously? Look at it. Her grandson still can't believe how fast it happened. Basically, I just heard a pop, and then flames started coming up from under the hood. Smoke came in, filled up the car. What went through your heart and your mind? Just get out, get the baby, and leave the car. Fortunately, TJ and his baby cousin Jordan did get out and did not get burned. Now the family wants to know why the Korean automaker hasn't done more to warn Kia owners about all of the recent recalls and problems occurring here in Florida and nationwide, and why their car was not on the recall list. Do you have to wait till this happens to find out that it should have been on the list? No, they need to do something. Somebody's got to do something before somebody's killed. You want results. I absolutely want results. And so does the Adams family. Their 2013 Sorento caught fire two months after their engine was replaced during a voluntary recall. Next thing I know, every <laughs> flames are 10, 20 feet high in the air. They shot this cell phone video of the fire, which happened last August in Polk County. Inside the back seat, their infant son. They are now suing Kia. Their lawsuit claims Kia knew about the engine problems for years, but did not do enough to fix it. Angie Fry and her family agree. Every time I think about what happened, you know, what could have happened, they need to look into it and take care of it. We have been in touch with Kia, who sent us this statement saying an inspection has been completed on Angie's car, and if it is determined that the fire was a result of the manufacturing-related issue, Kia Motors America will work with her to address any cost or expenses the family suffered, and that Kia owners with questions about their Kias should contact their Consumer Assistance Center at 1-800-333-4542. Adriana Ivashinsky, Getting Results, News 6. Now, to read more on Adriana's investigation and to see if your car is on the affected list, head to clickorlando.com slash investigators.